Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have created this customer module and now customer module because database module is already available in the app module now we can start creating the schemas and we'll start injecting them into our uh, customer modules or task modules or whatever the module wanted to access to individual schema okay so in this customer module how first of all how can we tell this module that I wanted to access a particular MongoDB schema so in the database module we have already defined that okay just connect to this particular database after that we can actually create a number of schema models and we can inject them or we can specify them in any of the module so here we will do that we will actually specify the customer schema in this module so that this customer module can access that customer collection without any issues so what we are doing is we have to inject it so we are using this mongoose module and this is the customer schema which we are getting from the schemas now after writing this line in our customer module what it is saying is now in the customer services you can actually access the customer model and you can do find by id update delete find by id and remove all the methods you can actually access so the name of the uh, schema model is customer on the name of customer you will be able to access them so if you are creating another product right then you will be writing product.module.ts there also you can just specify your product schema and you can bootstrap that particular module with that schema model like here i'm doing with the customer schema now in the controllers and services for the customer i will be able to access this data okay i will be creating one customer controller customer controller we can say and customer service okay services are injectable and this is our controller so basic controller code we can just copy the same because it's going to be kind of same here the only difference is we are going to inject our customer service and customer service code we can actually get from the task module we can copy the task service for now and then we will just modify this code based on our understanding yes so this is our customer service we will just make these methods removed okay now what we are going to do is in this customer service we are going to access that schema model because this is service layer controllers is a router controller will call our services in services we have to write the code to actually access the schema model right for that we have to inject the particular schema model in service so step one is first of all define that schema model in the mongoose module dot four feature after that if you wanted to access this customer schema in your services you have to use inject model so that i'm writing so you will be able to understand it here in the constructor i have to inject it so there is an inject model i have to import and this is model i think this will come from our mongoose So we got model and we got the so we are also going to create a just an interface for customer and the interface will have just a basic attributes what we are having in our schema. So here we can create an interface folder. An interface will have a customer or interface.ts. Customer.interface.ts will have this definition. Here we are extending the document and same customer interface we will just export here. This is the benefit of TypeScript that if you are exporting that explicitly, you can import that anywhere. Now uh, we can just list customer, all these methods we can write and it is going to actually give us the list of customer, area of customer, right? And here you will be writing some code, okay? So this is our some initials our service this is how our service look like and here we will write our code 
to actually get the customers like uh, cons customers equal to this is how we will access the customer model now right this is the property which we are adding this dot customer model dot sorry oops this dot customer model dot all these methods we are going to access here like find this is one of the method of uh, mongoose which it is providing okay find and you just pass this and you can put await because it is returning promise so we are actually getting all the data from it and you can return the customers and i mean we can write that same in the single line instead of doing it in the two different lines we can just return it right so what this customer model is doing customer model is representing this customer schema and there is a find method on every schema model okay that i can show you so here customer model dot find this is the method which we are invoking similarly we can have other methods like get customer customer by id right we can just write them and we'll just try to see how it works get customer and here you are passing the id as a string okay customer find by id so there is already a method in mongodb which is find by id and you just need to pass the id as a object id i mean it should be object id not a plain string it should be a kind of uuid structure okay and we are returning this so these two methods we have written now we can write our controller this controller will have will be just calling these two methods and here the definition will be customer okay here this is a get method so get method is like customers let's make it plural customers and here it is get by id so we can just say customer id for this trouble customer id i have some keyboard issue yeah so customer id and get and post so this is a get by id and this is getting all the customers we can just set simply get all customers and then get customer by id let's quickly finish this and here we will be actually accessing the request parameter response parameter so that same thing we talked about response and here we have response so i mean we, we are getting some data from the service so here we are injecting the service first which is simply you can say service and this is of type customer service we correctly exporting it so let's go to customer service so now in the controller i can actually pass the same service and i can import this and i can say this dot service dot some method this is get customer by id Okay, let's see the methods get customer yeah get customer is fine we are writing that in the controller get customer we just need to pass the id here and here we are calling get customers sorry list customer is this method so we we'll just replace it to the list customer right and what it is returning is we don't want it to return it directly we will get data we will await once we receive the response and then we can say response dot status equal to http status i mean there are different ways of writing it http status you can say okay and just pass the json object 
whatever we got in the data this is just another way and this is a sync function a sync controller function same for this and we are actually going to call the controller methods just doing a cleanup little bit yeah so here we are we have we need annotation response because we are accessing that and we also need params and we are getting id and this id of type string same id we can pass to get customer by id simple so this is how we have written our controllers and controllers uh, we injected service service is getting the data and returning the data back uh, back to us and we are using express way of uh, doing it so here response dot status dot json if you want uh, to get this response of type response then you can just do it from the express because the type of this then you have to explicitly import uh, ex response from okay this is also fine this response is of type response response dot status dot json this is how we are doing it so in the next example we will actually run it and we will see how it is working